Hey, what's up guys? I'm Tiger with Tiger Comedy, back with another Dokkan Battle video. So, I've seen this question being thrown out there a lot these past couple days, and I kind of just want to add my two cents to the conversation and give you guys my opinion on this matter. Now, why does it look like there's some kind of white substance on my shoulder? What the, what the heck is this? Alright, anyways, um, <laughs> getting sidetracked, don't worry about that later. Getting back to the main topic at hand here, um, the question I'm talking about, of course, is whether or not global players should be spending their stones, should be summoning on this upcoming uh, Dragon Ball Heroes themed celebration and the Dragon Ball Heroes banner or banners, whatever it ends up being, or should you be saving all of your stones right now for the upcoming 300 million download celebration that is coming up right after. Now, I know for some people this question might be super, super obvious. But for some others, they might be kind of on the fence, not really sure what to do with their stones. So uh, that's why I'm making this video today to try to help you guys make that decision. Now, in order to answer this question, you got to kind of consider a few factors. And we're going to start with the Dragon Ball Hero stuff. And what I'll say for the Dragon Ball Heroes units is that overall, like as a whole, the pool of units for the Dragon Ball Heroes uh, banner or banners, I'm not really sure what's going to happen with that, but. Either way, we're apparently getting all of them, and the pool is actually very, very solid. Overall, they're all really solid units, and in fact, I would say that some of them, like this guy right here, or uh, Great Saiyan Man 3 under the right situation, or Super Saiyan 3 Gohan, some of them are very, very good. Supreme Kai of Time is a very solid support unit. Um, we got Darkness Toa, who is a great support for extreme types. Uh, we have... Uh, Super Saiyan 3 Trunks, who could be a great tank, and like I said, just really good, right? And on top of that, we're most likely going to be getting a guaranteed featured unit per multi, which basically means a guaranteed heroes unit, since the only featured units should be heroes units, because this is what happened on JP, and as much as Global has been screwed over in various ways in the past, I don't see them taking that away, because that would just be too big of a difference, so I'm definitely expecting to get a guaranteed heroes unit for every multi that you do, and of course you can also get multiple heroes units, so that should further elevate the status or the value on this upcoming banner as well, right? And then the third reason or third factor I would say is a lot more subjective, and that really depends on whether or not you value these unique characters, right? Like the Super Saiyan 3 Xeno Goku, or Super Saiyan 3 Trunks, like how much do you care about these unique characters with unique designs that are exclusive to the Super Dragon Ball Heroes franchise, right? Or the license, that is, right? So, um, if you don't really care, you know, about like Darkness Toa, or you don't really care about Supreme Kai of Time, then maybe it's just gonna be a really easy skip for you anyways, right? Regardless of like how good these units are, and of course it varies, some of them are much better than others, but I think overall they're all uh, quite solid, they're all very usable, none of them are like super outdated to the point where you can't use them anymore, and uh, of course they all have really cool unique designs, right? So like I said, it's really up to you. So those are kind of the things that are going for this hero celebration, and as I've said in the past, I don't necessarily think that it's a bad idea to summon this banner at all, because I think that the value is going to be there. And uh, I think that some of them are really good, and I think they're really cool. I love the Super Dragon Ball Heroes franchise uh, as a whole because I played the game on Switch and I really enjoyed that. So I do want to pick up some of these characters to add to my collection. But if you don't care about that, then you can just straight up skip it and save for 300 million, right? So those are kind of things going for this banner and this celebration. But on the other hand, you also got to consider what happened last year for the 250 million down celebration. And if you just go down to that Dual Dokkan Fest we got last year. It was the transforming, here we go, transforming Goku and transforming Frieza dual Dokkan Fest, right? So these two units, when they came out at that time, were pretty busted. They were pretty broken, and even to this day, they were, they're still really, really good units, and they're still used by a lot of people, right? People really loved their mechanic, the fact that they were 120, like just straight up leads for Extreme and Super, um, their transformations. Uh, I don't remember if... The transformation mechanic where like they had a transformation every single turn was unique at the time like were they the first units to get that possibly i think they were actually i think they were so if you consider that from last year then this year we're most likely i think i'd say definitely gonna get at least one if not another dual dual confess two units that are 
uh, equally busted for this time, so like way better. And also potentially bringing in new unique mechanics we've never seen before. Now, I'm not sure about that. They, they might not be planning something like that, but um, I can guarantee you that the new units, the new Dokkan Fest for this upcoming 300 million download celebration, they're going to be very good, like very, very good units. And um, they're going to be better than, you know, any of the heroes units on the hero celebration banner. So there's also that to consider. And also there were discounts, it was 3 plus 1, so 3 multis, full price, and then 1 free, and they just keep doing that um, for the first 250 hours. Maybe it's going to be 300 hours for the 300 million download celebration since it's 300 million downloads, right? So uh, there's also the, the discounts to consider. Uh, so that was part 1. Oh, also their banners were really good. I remember the banners were really solid. I don't think I have it prepared here. You know what? Let me look it up. Let me look it up. Yeah, these banners weren't too bad for their time, like at all. So we have the transforming Goku banner here. And if we scroll down, we have the Goku himself. And we also have Tech Vegito Blue, who to this day is still one of, if not the hardest hitting TUR in the game. I think at his max potential, he is still the hardest hitting TUR, but uh, don't hold me to it because I'm not 100% sure. And we have UI Goku, who at that time was already kind of old but you know he was new newer than he is now so back then people were still excited about him people still wanted him uh these days maybe not as much but like i said back in the day he was still pretty exciting and we have int gogeta and i think this was the one that was swapped out for another unit on the jp banner it might have been a category lead i think people were pissed about that i don't remember if my memory is correct but i do remember that Global got screwed somehow for these banners, all right? So we have Int Gogeta, who's good, but I think we could have got someone better. And then uh, Tech Super Saiyan 3 Goku, and also uh, Super Saiyan Blue Kaioken Goku, who, um, you know, even at that time was pretty outdated. So, you know, I expect for us to get some older units on this upcoming banner as well, or both banners, to kind of balance things out. But that was the banner, like I said, not too bad. And then there's also, the Vegeta or Vegeta. Why, did, why do I keep saying Vegeta? I always mistake or like accidentally say Vegeta instead of Frieza. I don't know why that happens, but we have the Frieza banner. And if we scroll down here, we have this Frieza. Oh, also the Kaioken Goku. This uh, physical Kaioken Goku, I believe, was new at the time with this banner, and he is still really good, um, at least for a you know non Dokkan Fest unit. And uh, we have the Frieza. We have this uh, final form STR final form Frieza who is actually quite monstrous um, on the right team, he can do a lot of damage. And then we have STR Rose, who's the other half of Tech Vegito Blue, and uh, he's still amazing, absolutely, absolutely amazing. One of my favorite, and I think one of the best extreme TURs in the game still. And uh, we have Angel Golden Frieza, who's fantastic. And then we have Physical Cooler, who I think is the best extreme 120 lead. We have Golden Frieza, who got an Extreme Z Awakening later on and became absolutely amazing. And uh, this guy, so Super 17, I think he was the one that got swapped out for someone else on the JP banner. I don't remember who it was once again because it's been pretty much a year and um, all I remember at this point is that we got screwed with this guy. So uh, yeah, possibly expect something like that to happen again on on global compared to JP since we're both getting these banners, right? Um, at this point, you know, global players should be used to JP players getting slightly better banners when we get the same banners, but, or like, you know, get like the release of the same units. Uh, but it is what it is, nothing you can do about that. So <laughs> there are both banners, and even though there are a few less exciting things like this guy and uh, SSBKK on the other banner, it, they were still very solid on global, right? They were still really, really solid banners. And I would expect nothing less for the 300 million download celebration too. Whichever two units or dual dual confess we get, I think the banners are gonna be really good. Uh, very good for value overall. And you know, another factor to consider right there. And then if we move on to the second part of the 250 million download celebration, it brought, <laughs> I mean, <laughs> It brought LR Goku and Frieza guys, and to this day, after almost a year later, they are still top two or three, maybe to some people, the top, the best unit in the game. Um, and they're just fantastic, man. They're just, they're just amazing, absolutely insane. They can do so much damage, um, and their team is really damn good as well. So 
uh, I, you know, if you just go by that, I think that whatever LR we get for the second part, and I do expect another LR for the second part of the celebration, another legendary summon for a new unit, um, it's gonna be pretty game breaking, pretty damn busted. Uh, hopefully, somewhere on par, if not better, than the LR Goku and Frieza. So, if you guys want a chance for that, you also gotta save stones, right? And I think the uh, time for a, I guess, recommendation is, is here. And I mean, just going off of what I said, I think you can kind of guess what I'm about to say. And I think that most people, for the average player, especially if you're free to play, should definitely be saving your stones. Save up as many stones as you possibly can for this dual Dokkan Fest that we're getting for the first part. And let me just be clear, actually, I, I'm not 100% sure it's gonna be a dual Dokkan Fest, but I think just going off of um, what happened last year, I think there's a good chance. And uh, also for the second part, I do expect a new LR as well, just going off of last year. That's gonna be really damn busted, most likely. So, uh... <laughs> I mean, just based off those factors, I think you gotta save your stones, guys. The value and the better units should definitely be for the 300 million download celebration. Unless you're one of those people that have a lot of extra stones lying around, or you are, you know, pay to play and you're okay with buying more stones. Um, in that case, and also, of course, you really want the heroes units. Like, you think they're really cool and you just gotta have your, put your hands on, or get your hands on Supreme Kai of Time or, uh, I don't know, maybe Super Saiyan 3 Adults or Teen Gotenks or Darkness Toa, then in that case, yeah, maybe do some summons. But even if you're going to do some summons on the Heroes banners, I would not recommend anybody to go too crazy. I think you should set your, your limit at like maybe 200 stones at most, um, especially with the guaranteed Heroes units. You should definitely pick up a few of them at least. In the future, when the Heroes banners return, you can try to pick up more of them, but right now, the timing is just really bad for this release, and don't get me wrong, this is totally on purpose. Bandai knows exactly what they're doing here. They're trying to drain as many of your stones as possible before this absolutely massive, massive celebration. And even though we're probably going to get a good amount of stones, a good amount of free stones for the 300 million downloads, um, you obviously want as many stones as you possibly can get for these amazing upcoming units and banners, right? So. Um, yeah, like I said, the timing is just bad right now, and at, at a future point, I think when these banners, these units return, hopefully there's not going to be a absolutely massive celebration right after, and at that time, I think it'll be better to spend your stones and get some of these units that you really want. But for the time being, I would say save your stones. Most people should not summon on the Heroes banner, you just straight up skip it. If you are somewhat of a mini whale or have a lot of stones left over, you really want these guys, sure do you know a couple multis, two, three multis at most, and then call it a day, and then save the rest for the 300 million download celebration. I still don't have a lot of information about that yet, nothing has really come out, but I can guarantee you it's gonna be an absolutely amazing celebration. Whatever units we end up getting for these upcoming banners for that 300 million downloads, they're gonna be at least like top tier, if not game breaking, possibly with new mechanics. You never know because the transforming units brought in new mechanics, right? So I'm not, you know, that's definitely on the table, right? That's definitely a possibility. So uh, yeah, that's all I gotta say, guys. That's my recommendation. I would say most people skip, but you know, it's not a terrible idea. I, I don't, I don't want to say like anyone's being dumb or stupid for summoning, but uh, it's definitely better to save as many stones as you can for 300 million downloads. And that's going to do it, guys. Let me know in the comments whether or not you agree with my opinion or maybe you have some other opinions and you want to, you know, add your two cents to the conversation. That's always welcome. I would love to read your comments, love to read your opinions. And as always, if you guys enjoyed today's video, then make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, and you like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. And while you're at it, hit that notification bell too, so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's all I gotta say, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. I'll see you guys in a future video very, very soon. Hope you guys have a fantastic, fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media, signing out.